Well, growing up, we've all heard the five love language. What that means more than just for your significant other, though. Parenting expert Belinda Palacios is in to talk about those love languages and how they relate to your teen. Obviously, love is in the air. It's Valentine's Day, so that's what we're going to talk about. So where do you want to start? You know, most of the, when you ask a teen how they know their parents love them, they'll tell you, well, they do this for me, or it's how they mm -hmm. treat me, you know, and, and it can be a variety of ways. But what you will find is that each of us have a love language. It's what we do in order to express affection and our love for someone else. And our kids have it also. And so, and when our kids have that as their primary love language, that's how they are going to, when you, when you do that for them, that's how they really, really feel that, that you love them. I asked them one time, and it was like, I was like, girls, <clears throat> you know I love you, right? Yeah, you give us ice cream. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I, I yeah. hope that the, I get more well, qualifications than that, but at, at that young of age, they're mm -hmm. like, you take care of my need to, yeah. to douse myself in sugar. Like my grandmother's love language was to cook. Every time you, every, she wanted to feed you. Every time you hit the door, oh, wow. you know, there was, there was, she was at the stove, you know, doing something. So let's go through these five okay. love languages, shall we? So we start with the, the first one, which is the physical touch. It is, you know, and that's, you know, the hugging and the kissing and, and the knuckle bumps or whatever. You know, and some parents feel awkward about it the older that the kids get. But if that's that child's love language, they need that physical yeah. touch. I think of my little Piper. That's the way he should. <laughs> Maisie, exactly opposite. She's like, yeah, I'm not into it. Yeah, but yeah, it okay. Is. So words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody loves this. You know, encouragement, and, it, and it's true. What you will find with all these five lo love languages is that teens need all of them, mm -hmm. but there is a primary one that they really focus on. Okay. But the words of affirmation is just that encouragement, that acceptance of who they are, um, you know, the unconditional love that you have that is expressed yeah. through, through your verbal communication. Quality time. This mm -hmm. is something that I feel that we just sometimes skip over. We mm -hmm. get so busy, and I know they're busy running around, but... And it is full, undivided attention. Mm -hmm. Not just just, you know, sitting down there and still checking your phone or, or, you know, waiting on, you know, something else to happen or what have you. It is your full undivided attention that you're giving to that child and that child alone, not spreading it through a group at that particular moment. Just focusing in mm -hmm. on them. Okay. Uh, this one, my girls have no problem with this one. <laughs> uh, the receiving side, uh -huh. anyway. The giving and the receiving uh -huh. of gifts. And there's people that that is their primary love language because when they, you know, making gifts, buying gifts, what have you, but that is their expression to where they're really putting thought into mm -hmm. what they're giving you. And so there's more to it than just that material exchange. There is thought going into what they're giving you and what it means for them. Yeah. Uh, we one time got something, some schmutz on a, a drawing of Maisie's, and uh -huh. you would have thought the world ended. I don't remember what it was <laughs> that we had accidentally spilled on this yeah. this uh, Picasso piece yeah, that she had done. Yeah, because she spent yeah. a lot She's of like, time, Dad, yeah. and she had planned what mm -hmm. she was going to do to give you. Up next, acts of service. Mm -hmm. Acts of service, and those are the things to where, like my grandmother, you know, every time you hit the, you know, wanting to feed you, uh, that will be, you know, them um, helping you with projects. Yeah. It'll be with you, um, you know, doing those, those acts of service with them, helping them with their homework, making sure that they have all the things they need for school or, or their activities. So our kids need this, so let's fill that love tank faster. Let's do it effectively, and we've yeah. got a parenting challenge. Yeah, I think you find out what your kid's love language is, you know, and if you can't, you know, you can watch and see what your kids are doing for you or for their brothers and sisters or for their friends mm -hmm. to really find what their love language is. But if you still don't have an idea of exactly what it is, ask them. Sit down and have that dialogue and then make that a focus for when you're interacting with your kids from time to time. Oh, it's so good as we get ready to celebrate Valentine's Day. Thank you for putting the focus on the kiddos. You bet. Coming up next with the season ending boutique.